As we move toward uh, Resurrection Sunday, I wanted to share with you a scripture out of John 20, 24 through 29. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here. Look at my hands. Reach your hand here. Put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. The thing I find interesting in this is that Thomas, having spent a lot of time with the Lord, even to recognize him was not going to be enough. He wanted physical proof, physical touch. He tells Thomas, don't be unbelieving, but believing. This is a command from the Lord. Doubt is the faith killer. What things in the Word, you know, we know Jesus is the Word made flesh, has He spoke to us that we require physical proof before we will believe? One area could be healing. If the Holy Spirit has told you to stand for faith, for healing, for a manifestation of healing, it, do we require physical proof, a doctor's report, a test, or a feeling? Do we stand on the Word that He tells us? In Isaiah 53, 5, it says, By His stripes we are healed, present tense. Uh, 1 Peter 2.24 says, By His stripes we were healed, past tense. Are you having trouble believing you're forgiven? Are you looking for proof outside? I'll believe I'm forgiven when I feel it. The only cure for this is more Word. We must get more of the Word in us, hearing by the Word of God. That is how our faith comes. Because we serve a risen Savior, and remember, He said He would rise in three days, we can have hope and we can have faith. Let us not be unbelieving, but believing.